580 years have passed. 100 years remain. Empire is near. Hundred months. Hundred years. Hundred various units of time. So, the Triple Kingdom is large, wealthy, mostly stable. And after so long in captivity, we have been steadily moving south. Time of celebration. Plague is minding its own business over there. And for the moment, we're in kind of a cooldown period. We have truces against all of our current targets of violence. Except you, who just recently sprung back into existence. Let's go. Welcome back to Independence. Get under my boot. Off we go. We have dislodged the Romans from Tibet. Well, they have dislodged the Romans from Tibet. As happens.
the perils of using someone else for your CP. Sometimes they just up and die. A moment's reprieve while we sort out the paperwork. Nice. Feature. Got it in one. Finally free of our eye pox. The strongest medicine is family. Once more, the largest wizard. So, we are in need of another 18 points of realm. Plant a new disease is forming. We must do battle with the moon.
Yes, and so, well, hold on. More so than that. So there's some sort of additional value added to our realm size over just the, the basic number of objects that are in the hierarchy. Like, I was expecting that this would give us four more points. Instead, it has given more than that. I suppose our in-between vassals are worth additional points. In some manner. So let's see here. If you go all the way down to the bottom, yeah, a baron is worth a point. Those are all realm size one. This guy does indeed have seven vassals and one thing of his own. Well, three things of his own. Giving him rating ten. What about somebody with like under subordinates here? Sub vassals. Something isn't adding up. Maybe we got more than just that province in holdings. Maybe some other target was also handed over to us. Hard to say. Either way, another notch. Blue confirmed. Unpleasant. New Emperor, more open borders and devastating plagues. Alright, snort some demons. It's a good start. It's definitely a plan. There's precedent for this. How long do we have to endure that before... Just a year. That's fine. Medicine takes time.
Hmm. Surgical complications. This too is fine. Alright, next truce that eases up on us is against Bengal. We still have some targets inside our zone. Plague replaced by Rebellion. Good to see. During rebellions, the Empire will accept gifts of generals to help fight. Our next province will be our next uh, target. Next province, Li Zhangzi here. Which then, depending on how much phantom number that is worth, that's going to be most of the way 
get that magic number. Two more wars should be all we need. No shortage of pretty all right targets. I do have stray barons scattered about. Maybe I picked up one of those additionally. We get the usual antics. The background noise of inheritance. Only 47. Our current air designate has cancer. Son, how are you doing?
Problem zone. Harmonious family management. At least that's not so bad. One of our problems recovered.
Good to see that we aren't Mangal's only war right now. India has returned to normalcy. Back to its usual, heavily fragmented and plagued by infighting self. The India that's more useful to us, and thus more correct. Next truce is up in 62. Buddy, you're leading a revolt. If you're in the middle of proper grand royal crime, don't ruin it by doing small crime.
damn right. Ever live our collection of skulls? Now, these were unrelated to the war. This was a pile of rebels that I'm choosing to put down. Community service. Okay, that was worth exactly five. As it should have been off the top. So yes, realm size is realm size. Oh, my good friends. With Aldrich of Yelnia. Where did we meet? Is he a wizard? What's your deal? So, that means for our next war, we go after a size 5 province. Like this one. That'll be it. One declaration of violence stands between us and Empire. Total of plus 32 opinion from priests from our many hospitals.
son. Don't you dare become disease. Hello, son. I don't see how anyone could have a problem with the Skull Vault. That's a part of our history. Skull Vault is a part of our heritage. Right, right, right. Put away that army. They've done their job. Yeah, this whole thing needs to fix it up. The backup family home. The mountain home where we keep the reserve.
Ah, good. Hello, wait. Yes, currently held by our neighbors. Usurp the hell out of that. And then we pass that off to somebody, presumably. Wants to be a duke. Wants to be more than one duke. Do we even have any count vassals right now? We do. Congratulations on your new hat. Feature. The grand debate has never been useful to us. When other people hold these debates, we head over there and mess up the place, rhetorically. There's never been much reason to call one of our own. Anatolia is not in diplomatic range of us. Hi, Poland! Poland, looking good. Up there by, uh, by Britain Big. Likewise, France. And France. Scull away Norway, holding on. Chud!
old friend. All is well in the West. And all this time, we never built our own laboratory. Our peasants would be less intimidated by science if we didn't keep pushing the limits of what was possible. The common folk become acquainted with the science of our predecessors, but with each generation we go further beyond. If your work does not terrify the common people, then you fail to live up to our legacy.
Being accused of witchcraft is one of the fastest ways to land a government job here in the Triple Kingdom. See, we make sorcery illegal, and we keep it illegal, so that only the bravest and the most skilled will dare to try. If you will not defy the laws of man in order to further your understanding of the cosmos, how do you expect to conquer the laws of nature? They're much larger. Now. Now, for future runs of Crusader Kings, as this one begins to wind down, they will probably be a ways off. A next run of Crusader Kings will not be immediately after this. There are other titles, which must take their place in the cycle. The slab is out there somewhere. We shed some baronies. Presumably it was more temples. Further temples that get to cheat their way out of our overlordship.
All right, that will help. Our dukes having the right to pursue their own wars. Break together some spare change. Let's see, who are you? Interesting. Byzantines hold Mecca and Medina. These things happen. These things happen. It is done. After 600 years. Ever live the Empress. And with her ascent, our even higher domain limit. Even better than, okay, that doesn't even make us a titular empire. We get to, our three crowns become our de jure. Tibet is now this over here. Tibet is dead. Since time immemorial, these lands have been unto Qinghai. What sorcery was this? What a nice lighter shade of blue now. Excellent. Quite elegant. Hmm. Got some smallpox up north. Sitting at 1700 grace. Now, Empire Tier with our 60,000 soldiers. Man, what if? Okay, we're not nearly large enough to consider assailing China. That is, in fact, locked to someone nearly twice as big as us. At least half again more big. Though, to make ourselves a whole new China. For that, we're only 20 points away. Just a few battles more. We are not truce with Bengal.
expanded empire tier, we can go after entire duchies at once. That belong within our natural border. Excellent. And we get an Empire Tier Honor Guard. A whole two of thousands. Well, that's going to make the next war against uh, Kathmandu much more productive. All these stray temples are a real nuisance, though. So many scraps. So bad at converting counties. Right, now we get to deal in the Imperial Law. Yeah, we can do Imperial Administration, and Viceroys, and all sorts of things. Yes, there is an infidel in the court. We married him. We knew that at the time. It's fine. Okay, good, the smallpox is going in the other direction. A fitting tribute. An auspicious omen. For days to come. So yes, with Imperial Administration, our vassal limit just got way big. And we have the ability to make our Dukes Viceroys instead of full Dukes. Where what you do is you can hand out a title to a vassal that is non-inheritable. Upon the holder's death, it will revert back to your hands to be reassigned to somebody else. This is a very powerful legal arrangement.
That sort of a setup existed in many times and places throughout the Mid Ages and the times afterwards. The idea of creating one generation elites. Long term, it usually wound up collapsing because said families would still work out ways to accumulate wealth and power. And the moment enough of such concentrated in their hands, they would do the move and seize things appropriately, change the laws to their convenience. Or even in situations where there wasn't that much of a of an upheaval, it'd be a matter of, yes, on paper, there is no hard inheritance of this title going on, but in practice, weird, folks from this one household keep getting appointed governor of over there. It's just customary. It's natural. Let's fight. Get off my land. Do I have further CBs against Shang Zhong over there? We apparently don't have any commanders on the right flank of either of those armies. It's fine though. It worked out. We're all fine here. It's understandable that we're not getting much new out of looking at the sky. The family's already documented so much of it. Fairly within a few generations, we'll have learned everything there is to know about space. It can't hide from us forever. The moment we finish documenting the vital points of the moon, we will slay our ancestral foe with one decisive strike. Then there will be peace. Forever. Come on. Come here. Come here, fight me. That's a nice number of archers you got there. Be a shame if someone were to surpass it.
Orthodox Rebels. Neat. Yeah, they'll reinforce a little by the time they get there. And I can just send down in some reinforcement. Strengthen the whole process. This is entirely unforgivable behavior on display here. Never in our grand and illustrious history have our house or our realm done any wrong against the Cruise Tang. We have heard of their holy Josh and read many copies of his book. Its contents are of little relevance to our academic efforts. His writings and those of his followers are somewhat perpendicular to our interests.
We have reviewed the legends of the Western peoples, and not one of their great heroes has ever vanquished the moon. Frankly, this leaves their supposed gallantry highly suspect. We have some knowledge of economy. But we can discuss coin, if you would like. In this land, we have even heard of the boat, as spoken of in legend. There we go. Now the next level feedback loop kicks in. Now that we can do Emperor level excuses for fighting.
Okay, no firm land seizing excuses. Use against Changchun. We could try to tributary them. Get ourselves the other kind of ass, but then I don't know if that's worth realm size or not. Sure, this castle is mine now. I live here. Get off my lawn. Mita the Frog of Lanka. No, thank you. Okay, youngest son, are you still free of illness? You are healthy, you are alive, you have two... You have one healthy daughter. One work in progress. need nine more size, which, uh, yeah, that's accounted for here. In 73. Smallpox. Smallpox, get out of here. You stop that. We may as well try to achieve the final level of hospital power. Excellent. Our state of mind is well suited to isolation, proving the enlightenment of the Empress. Truly she is wise.
Yeah, our extremely high level hospital will reduce the impact of disease. It won't prevent disease from striking, especially when we're very prosperous and heavily populated. With our giant super hospital, we will heavily mitigate the losses, rather than suffering complete demographic collapse. Not every plague will be like that one time everyone died. Great moment in history that that was. comparisons we could make to other notable places. Let's see, we have a total of 337 gold of economy. Okay, bad example as Constantinople is undergoing a bit of a rearranging right now. Uh, how's Rome doing? 221. Hmm, the Aztecs suffered a bit of a breakdown. Paris, it's a 173 in there. Right, London doesn't exist right now. If it does, it does. Yeah, okay, yeah, London is here inside Middlesex. 223. Okay. 218. We are somewhat prosperous. Another fair point to compare. Where is... Well, of course. They're doing well. We big. Be it understood. All right, welcome back. Horse. <laughs> A 
our horse is attractive and strong and stubborn and a horse. My horse must be invincible. As it was in ages past. This horse is 16 years old. A sturdy horse. This changed names because of a culture shift. Our next target remains Katmandu. Continue our work to secure the now ancestral land. Our freshly minted 10,000 year heritage. There is a separate Borjin Khanate that is broken free of the Mongol Empire. Which is now ruled by... by the Mangu Timur. I might never get a chance to hand out any Viceroys. Our existing Tukes are... are not making much of a fuss. They are too small. Oh, okay. Also, Plague is left. Open the doors. Plague is over. Things are fine. And we have 20 more vassal limit to fill. A fresh young baby of the house has 400 prestige off the top. A good kid. Oh, and you recovered from your illness. Good. 
Good work. Start to rein in the remaining privileges of our vassals. Go fighting in the war room. As has been reaffirmed by two of our illustrious ancestors. Violence within the realm, between its subjects, is anathemic. It is beyond forbidden. Three more years. Rest easy. Eventually. Somehow still observing the sky. It's fine. The Empress is fine. She is contemplating the heavens with her student in isolation. Do not ask questions. Our 10,000 man permanent army. Our retinue of many archer.
Oh, really? Can I not? Hmm. That other CB must have had a different source then. Thus, we have to take this slow. Perhaps once I have the Duke hat in hand, then I'll be able to seize it all at once. <laughs> we understand so much as to ascend to heaven. Farewell. Holy Empress. She goes to join our ancestors and prepare the final battle against the moon. Ambition fulfilled. A new reign begins. Take up the ceremonial gun. And yes, you already have children. Although, wait. New ruler! All of your truces were with our mother, who is now very dead. Much as you will be. Alright, so let's see. Of these, I think uh, Karuna was the largest. Let's fight.
Of course he's annoying. But he's useful. So we'll have de jure claim to attack those two provinces there as well. Though one of those is also Kathmandu territory at the moment, so... Beside the point. We can skim this province off Bengal, and then further wars can be done over whoever has the rest of these weird straggler theocracies kicking around. Quick little maneuver to skim some numbers off them. Very good. Everything's falling into position. This one was already ours. See, we're finally fulfilling old obligations. Restoring the natural border. Not good. Our aunt is still around as official court physician. Looking well. Being well. Inflicting that wellness on others.
These elephants, they pose a problem. This time, with our full force composition on the table, trades go a bit better. Morale's a bit soft, though. Good luck, buddy. Have fun out there. All right, round two. Round two, which is round three. We have an opponent who effectively counters large numbers of archers.
they will not be able to counter our undeniable vast economic advantage. Send in the vassal levies. Pile them on. You are very fired. However you handle war, you do it wrong. Get out of my house. Now duo over there. There's a man with purpose.
All right, with the decisive battle over. I can ease up. And now, if I need a sudden burst of, different, of additional soldier. When did the dragon army get so big? Where'd you get all these guys? Dragon army. Nice. Now turtle, though. Still that astounding low cost of entry. Wait, when did you become... Okay, the key. Empire is... Hello? I've well, got to deal with this religious revolt. The homeland is stable. All is well. Return to normal. Ever live our fabulous, perfectly ordinary China? Which is now as it has been for 10,000 years. That's not a crime. I think I misread that. Oh, yeah, all right. No, things were going fine there. Things continue to go fine there. Victory occurred. Our retinue is quite capable when it has the chance to do its move.
There's the magic number. Be destroyed. Five more points. From somewhere. Can't usurp this duchy. Cross religious lines and they still have land within it. We will have to fight louder at a different interval. For now though, hey Ben go. Pick like two of these to not send in there. You want to remain Sultan during all fighting. And I'll just briefly divert two of these to siege that, since it's on the way. We'd be there already if not for all these pesky theocracies that keep smuggling themselves out of the realm without so much as giving me an appropriate and polite opportunity to renew fealty via orb. A fine light of the void. The truth is out there.
but no. How did, how did you get back here? Unthinkable. Disgusting. Okay, the mountain has done its damage. Thank you, mountain. Pardon. Do you mind? Also, what? is this and because they've decided to do this there's no why is that a choice they make suppose we hadn't established any grace with this new dynasty that spontaneously manifested last week Need to find somewhere to group up. And just hope they don't wizard up a hundred war score. Or I have an opportunity to respond at all. For this stable open China, which has no tributaries, more soldiers than ever. We will need to personally take the field. Only our greatest magics can secure victory.
more of them appeared. They've now additionally hired one of the larger mercenary companies. Why do you have 50,000 gold? That's not a real number. Okay, maybe we don't take direct command because the king is actually quite terrible at leading. Otherwise... You're dead, though. You'll be a fine general. Eh, that's it. Pile in. This is the hill we all die on.
Okay, that's a start. That's certainly a phase one. How is our follow through though? How much morale will we have back in the couple of days before the rest of them cross this river? A lot of it actually. If our armies get defeated, they might retreat as far as all the way across to bed. If the enemy armies get retreated, when the enemy armies break and have to retreat, they get to bounce off the edge of the map because nothing exists beyond this point. Killing them three to one, though, in these defensive battles, the line may yet hold. I find somewhere more hospitable to stand. Or stage a quick counterattack. Or take this truce. And get these nerds off my back. Expel these demons from our realm and get back to what we were doing before. Hey China! Here's a consort. And a eunuch. I send my finest nephew. And, uh, never speak to my family again. Ever live out of my sight, you abomination. Chosen by heaven.
Now, how long does that last? This formal peace deal, what does it do? It's something separate from our regular truce, I'm pretty sure. How you doing, Bengal? Keeping busy? We'll be Marshall over in Lhasa. We're back to having passive, passive gain on our imperial grace. We've synchronized culture. And the factions are at it again. Naturally. We are same religion, same culture, once again. Those are consolidated into a single number. Vassals are always enough to no good and working against their own interest. If any of them understood what was really important, they'd be us. If they deserved more, we'd have given it to them. After 600 years of enlightened, enlightened rule, we have this down to a science. We elevated this to a science. Eldest daughter. Adept at schemes.
as always, everyone's concerned. Now the now seizing the Empire of Tibet has become a far off and very different goal. What Tibet? We have ascended beyond Tibet. Tibet was the old way. And some more points of realm managed to bubble into our hands. On uprising. From where? Convenient. Destroy them. Alright, if that number holds and we don't have further interruptions, then we are very on course. For the final head. Let's need all that raw prestige. Current rates, 11 years of passive prestige. Beep. We will then also fish for opportunities to augment our standing. Okay, for whatever reason, we now have 203. Okay. Okay. All right. This fragment of ours has been doing opportunistic things while we weren't looking. Well done. See, there's someone who understands. You want land, you go get it. From over there.
Oh, we actually have adequate intrigue. That is a rarity for the family. Traded his ability to fight. To understand that lies occur. Again. Ultimately, this is good for the realm. It's more victory. Just quickly sneak the real generals over here. And don't even have to sneak in for the decisive blow. You are already dead. Time to prosper. Very good. Once more, the factions are toothless. Economy returns. This keeps happening. So what the hell was that? How did this 13,000 supply province inflict attrition on 6,000 dudes? In April. There are no plagues.
They'll be fine. They're professionals. According to all official documents, there's 10,000 of them. They can't lose. It's time for science. Six hundred and nine years. Nice. Auspicious. Remaining unclaimed de jure territory. It's just these two duchies. Bhutan and Shigat. Shigatse? This and also this. Katmandu, and also Katmandu. Very auspicious bits. The heavens resound. All is well. to get that prestige number up before up to eight baronies smuggle themselves out of our territory. How do we invent more prestige? Can we grow it in a laboratory? Yeah, we don't have tournaments. Boards are off the table. We lack tournaments and we lack seasonal festivals.
Maybe if we pilgrimage? Let's go visit the Emperor. Take a look around. Although with 3,000 left to go. When we're making shy of 500 a year just passively. Hospital upgrades are worth some prestige. Get more pilgrims in. What if? Which vassal hates me least? Making our way. Little at a time. Yes! Sports! Games! Festivity! It's a party. Everyone wins.
Adventure. Celebratory Anarchy begins. Party is on cooldown. Can't party too often. Getting 8,000 prestige to do high-level political moves is much easier when you are a large aristocrat. One can harken back to how Oh, back in the day, Bank of Arabia didn't quite manage to make itself an empire. Though that was more with due to the limits of seniority succession, which republics are stuck with. A tabula! It has returned! My slab! On the day we are in 6,090 prestige. You're finally home. All is well. We have restored the heavenly order. And the world has responded. See, this guy hated us a week ago, but we're friends now. Just needed to hang out. 
just needed to have a talk. Have you seen our slab? The ancestral slab is back. It's great. It was that very slab that began our family's ascent to greatness. It now returns at our finest hour. And it's very definitely real and not counterfeited form. Verified by the highest scholars as the correct and real slab. The slab is in captivity. The earth is at peace. The slab has returned. It is where it belongs. Oh uh, yes, the question raising in the chat of which DLC to try first. Old Gods ranks pretty highly. Way of Life also pretty good. Old Gods gives you playable pagans. You can go a Viking. You can be the Proto Swede. Way of Life contains this whole mechanism here. The character focuses and all the event chains that go with them. That adds a lot of personality and a lot of useful tools to your day-to-day -day operations. Like, I can look at this guy who despises me and invite him to party. Well, once party is off cooldown. And then maybe, just from raw charisma, take this drunken asshole and convince him to relax. And I mean, look at this guy who wouldn't want to be his friend. This Impaler. We have our own Dracula! Such ambition, but such humility. Simultaneously trusting and deceitful. Lies to everyone, but believes what they say in response. What a character! My word, a Han scholar. Fascinating. You don't say.
My sons is this. My only son. Youngest son. Learning intrigue right now. Yeah. Learn of books. A nice calligraphy tutor. Write faster. I should hand these off. Just the both of them. But to who? Son in law, please convert. And then maybe also join me for a party. Who gets this province? You help my son practice math. Enjoy your new estate in the mountains. Yes. Yes. Doctor. York. York. Mercia. And as always, Poland. Chud is okay. It'll be okay.
economy now at 1,400 gold per annum. New plague. Next Black Death, starting in Europe. Have fun with that. Most of the intercontinental disease exchange happened a while ago. A fine son. increasingly soon within two years oh we've also become leader of the society yeah what is our least powerful book Alchemy isn't quite up to par, so off you go. For glory. Literary, academic glory. Actually, hey, Trade Zone map, is there a... Uh... There's some kind of republic down here. Oh, wait, it's that non-republics are allowed to build trade posts at Silk Road Marts. That's what it is.
There are no large republics. Purpose feudal. Islam. Gonna Islam. And then we are feudal. These nomads have yet to settle. And why should they? They're doing fine. Their ways are their own. There are still some pockets of Taoism in the Middle East. There are still these weird pockets of East African Taoism. Interesting times across the board. Catholic West Africa. Look small next to Al Duli, but this is a lot of very lightly developed land. And they aren't nearly as centralized as we are. So, uh. The Shah here cannot command nearly as much leverage as we do. Those Byzantines, though, even this tiny baby Basilius, he's got a bit of a team. Our capital is nearly perfect. Behold, just shy of the ultimate castle.
Turn metal into gold, and the soul will follow suit. And now, for our greatest act of alchemy yet. We will transmute Shanghai into China. Ever live the Yan. Next time. Six one six. The number of wizards. <laughs>